Well, guys, I got to talk about the big elephant in the room and um, what happened to Trump yesterday. What happened to Trump yesterday was uh, by far one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I, I can't believe he almost got shot. He almost got killed. Uh, I can't believe there was a, another attempted assassination on a former president or soon to be the next president of the United States. I can't believe that the Secret Service dropped the ball the way they did. How in the hell does a shooter get 300 meters away from a president or a former president while he's giving a speech? And the fact that people in the crowd were telling, they're telling cops, hey, there's somebody in the roof. And they really didn't act until when he started shooting. <laughs> what the fuck is going on, man? Like, dude, this is some crazy ass shit, man. Like, I don't, I don't get this, man. Like, I don't get the shit that's going on with Trump, man. Like, this man has been going through some shit this next these past two years, going to court for believing in his rights as a president to have classified documents, while. The current president had a bunch of fucking uh, documents all over the goddamn place. I'm not to say uh, we're not going to talk about that, but there was a lot of there was a lot of mistakes on that one. Then him uh, getting uh, you know going through all these uh, these uh, these court proceedings about whether he should be in a ballot or not, and then afterwards there's criminal proceedings. And now the man gets shot. How much more is this man willing to take? How much more are we willing to tolerate this kind of shit from the left? How is it that somebody is uh, attacking presidential candidates and it seems to me like somehow people are happy about this shit? Like there's some fucking retard that got on fucking Twitter and started talking about how, well, I'm from Harlem and I know what it's like to get shot at. You know, uh, that, that was staged and shit like that. Really, bitch? First of all, I was in Iraq. I was in Iraq three fucking times, and I know what the crackling sound of a fucking round sounds like coming at your ass. You know, especially from a machine gun, okay? Uh, or a fucking high-power rifle. I know what that shit sounds like, okay? That's exactly what that shit sounded like. That shit was not staged at all. Not one fucking bit, okay? And, uh, and the fact that you get out there because you're saying you're from fucking Harlem, and somehow this was staged, and you know what it's like to be shot at, really? So you're some fucking expert because you lived in the ghetto? Shit, I lived in the ghetto, I lived in South Central LA, I know exactly what it's like to get fucking shot at, and I knew that when I was in Iraq. So, I don't get your fucking point, you fucking crazy bitch. Uh, and there's thousands of all these, uh, all these other fucking people getting on Twitter, going out there and giving their stupid ass opinion on stupid ass shit. And it's pissing me off. And it's pissing a lot of people who have been there and done that and got the t-shirt and are fucking pissed off about it. So I'm gonna tell y'all something, man. If you guys don't support Donald Trump after this fucking event, I don't know what to tell you. That man has gone through fucking hell in the past two years. You know, going to courts for fucking bullshit. You know, now getting shot at, you know? I don't understand what the fuck is going on with the left. I don't understand how some of them are all happy about this shit that, that Trump almost got fucking shot at. Believe me, if fucking anybody did an, an, an assassination attempt on fucking Biden, people would be having all kinds of crazy ass shit and, and uh, all kinds of analysts and fucking the left will lose their fucking mind. But because it's Trump, all like, oh, that's stage, you know. Fuck that, you know. This is bullshit. He's just, he's just trying to do that. So you mean to tell me you're gonna stage a fucking shooting where somebody gets shot at and two people, two other people get critically injured? And oh by the way, you get nicked. And, you know, Mr. Pre Mr. Trump got nicked in the fucking ear with a with a fucking high power uh, round. Do you guys know how fucking hard it is to do a headshot? Unless you fucking been there and done that, you probably don't know. And it's really fucking hard. And it's really hard for you to be very accurate. 
at 300 fucking meters. So I don't know, man. There's just all kinds of shit that are pissing me off. But the hatred that they're showing this man just pisses me off. Makes me even want to be be more supportive towards Trump. Makes me more supportive to 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 help him out and making sure that he becomes the next 47th president of the United States. I really do because fuck these people on the left. They can kiss my ass. All they're doing is pissing me the fuck off with the bullshit that they talk about. You know. Uh, but you know, guys, there's 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 another thing. There's something else that fucking bothers me about all this shit. Because, guys, I I've been to presidential visits. You know, we've had, I had President Bush uh, visit us in Iraq, and I know exactly how crazy the Secret Service gets with security. You know. Uh, he did a visit to Fort Hood, Texas one time. I was there. He did one when I was in Iraq. Okay, and I understand that he's the president of the United States at that time. But that man had all kinds of fucking security, man. We had to open every little fucking nook and cranny box in, in our buildings. They would have people on each roof, you know, just to make sure nobody was near. So how is it that somebody who's already should have or has Secret Service... A detail with him not have this extra protection layer that they need you know like like making sure that all these buildings that are at least within uh, shooting range of where he's at are, are are protected how the fuck did somebody got got 300 meters away from a presidential candidate and almost shot his ass I don't get that. I honestly think this is an inside job. And I hate to do the conspiracy theory bullshit, but in reality, it's just, it, there's just too much bullshit that goes there, you know? This is not the first time the Secret Service has kind of fucked this shit up either, you know? Um, and that's just my thought process because I know and I've seen the level of security that most of these uh, sitting presidents and former presidents get. And for some reason, I don't think Trump got the same level of security because this shit just to me is crazy. And the fact that people in the stands saw this fucking man and they were saying, hey, there's somebody in the roof over there. And and it took him that long to react. I mean, they still reacted within a time frame that I think it's adequate. But as soon as they saw that fucking dude on the roof, they should have just shot that motherfucker. He shouldn't even had a chance to shoot at the president. So I, I got a feeling that somebody dropped the ball. There's an inside job here, guys. There really is. This is like some, there, there, there's something there. I'm telling you, there, there's some shit in there. And I hope they dig into it because it needs to be fucking addressed. The Secret Service dropped the ball big time on this shit, okay? And uh, I, I do commend those, those agents that went and rushed him and make sure that they protected him. But whoever's doing their outer security, man, they fucking suck, dude. And that's just the way I could tell you, because I, I've seen it. I know what it's like. I've been uh, part of those kind of uh, presidential visits, you know, and I know how that shit is. So it's fucking crazy. But, you know, I, I think the, the thing that I hate the most is that the, the hatred Trump gets. Stop and think about what he's been been through in the past two years. This guy's been in, in and out of courts for bullshit, whether... He should be in a ballot or not. Like, really? Or or the, the hush money case. I mean, come on, man. That shit's old news. And somehow you want to you wanna make him a, a felon for that shit and take half of his uh, earnings because somehow you think you're, you're, you have that right? Nah, man. Like, this shit's getting out of hand. And I hope that all of you guys support Donald Trump. I hope that all of you guys see what I see because this is straight inside job where somebody went in and get shot and killed and uh, and I hope that we find out more in the coming in the coming weeks about what happened here but I, I don't care how you want to sugarcoat this shit man Secret Service dropped the ball this is a tragedy that could have been prevented in the first place and um, and, and I'm sad and at the same time pissed off about it 
So, and I'm sure a lot of you guys feel the same way. And guys, I really don't like talking about politics, but this is a big elephant in the room. And I had to say something because in reality, I'm just pissed off as much as all of you. So, all right, guys. So I got, like always, God bless you. God bless the United States of America. And I'm out.